small in size, but big in technology. This is our, uh, this is our pipe crawler. A robot that does the job of a human. This is a 36 inch pipe. Large enough to be dangerous if it failed, but too small for a person to inspect. That's why WSSC has enlisted the help of robots to canvas the Commission's 36 and 42 inch pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipes, or PCCP, a total of 68 miles of mains that have been in the ground for decades, yet never inspected. We're serious about asset management. Dave Burke is the PCCP program manager for WSSC. His team spent eight years focused on inspecting and monitoring the commission's 77 miles of 48-inch and larger PCCP. That monumental task was completed in 2013, and now Burke's team is targeting 36 and 42 inch mains with pipe crawlers. The robot can crawl literally thousands of feet through the pipeline, and it, and it, can, it can go completely underwater. It has very good video camera, and it has very good lighting. With the uh, visual inspection, we're looking for cracks uh, of the inner concrete core, or we can also check uh, mortar in the joints to make sure that's uh, still in good condition. We can stop the robot, uh, turn the camera, zoom in to anything that we want to get more detail on. In addition to visual, the robot also runs an electromagnetic inspection, which provides vital stats on the pre-stressed wires inside the pipe. They really are literally the primary structural component of the pipeline. They are the, they are the, the reinforcement that literally provides the majority of the strength. This inspection technique puts an electromagnetic signal into the wires and based on the response of the wires to that signal, it can assess the health of those wires. It helps us establish a baseline for then from the monitor from. Uh, it also tells us whether or not certain pipes are at the point of distress where they have to actually be repaired or replaced. And if a section does need to be replaced, the robot's mapping ability plays a key role. The inertial mapping unit will map the pipe out to uh, within sub-yard accuracy, so within three feet. Um, so if we do find a problem with one pipe section and they'd like to excavate it, we can give GPS coordinates of that exact pipe section, which sounds easy, but it, it, it can be quite difficult sometimes to know exactly where one pipe stick is. An impressive collection of data by a machine, not man, but at what price? The cost of it, you know, it does vary, as all these costs vary, but I would say the cost is approximately 40% less than a manned inspection. After the inspection, Acoustic Fiber Optics, or AFO, will be put in all 36 and 42 inch mains, just as WSSC has done with its larger pipes. The AFO allows the Commission to constantly monitor wire breaks inside the mains and take action before a pipe can fail. This time, WSSC has literally the largest AFO monitoring of PCCP system you know, in the United States of America. And it's growing even larger as the Commission strives to inspect and install AFO in all 68 miles of 36 and 42 inch mains over the next eight years. It's first-hand condition assessment. You know, this is not theoretical. It's WSSC using cutting-edge technology to ensure safe, clean, and reliable water is always there for our customers. It really is the best I think that we can do, you know, to you know, do our best to take care of our pipelines and, and obviously get the most life out, life out of them and provide the, the best value to the customer.